good morning students and welcome to our online e learning session for class 8 and today we are going to start our new chapter that is our economic system previous chapter that was also based on economy only and again we are going to discuss on economy you'll enjoy this chapter for start this day for starting of this day so you all know that we must pray daily we must pray to almighty and i know that you all are student from shri gyan manjri vidyapeeth we are unique from others yes and as keep in mind that positivity by prayer you will have and you will get a good positive thought idea and a good logic and capability of the thinking and you will definitely you will get a good marks so i request you and i am suggesting you all before you start your online lectures as it is coming on the particular time so before you start your study you must pray whatever god in you believe you follow but pray to almighty this is the finest way before you start your study you must pray to almighty and if you remember we are we, we are reciting five shlokas every day isn't it karagre vaste lakshmi karamule saraswati karmadhye tu govinda prabhate kar darshanam ab to sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramaya sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kashchit dukh ma apnuyat with this positive thought and prayer we must start our day today if you can see on the board a wonderful thought what i have written is about the success like you all know the still we are in month of january but after two month you have to appear for your final exam so here your number your grade your percentage will going to matter so it is given that the, without the self discipline what word we have used over here it's a self discipline success is impossible so what is a self discipline nowadays you are learning online online classes are going isn't it so first of all if you remember we have explain you also and we have given you a proper schedule yes so self discipline means in early morning you should wake up by your own wake up early in the morning as just now i said pray to almighty it is also the one part important part of our life then pay proper attention attend all the lecture nicely submit your work homework now how you will do in absolute proper manner it must be presentable it must be like you must present your work in a wonderful manner that you have to present in a proper manner at proper given time then after your online lectures whatever the schedule you have prepared or it is given by your mentor teacher you must follow take proper lunch dinner have a good exercise and early to bed early to rise that what we say is the self discipline for you okay focus you must do few subjects like math science english every day nowadays you are at home but you are english medium student so you must have the practice of english speaking so speak english with your friends with your family members reading is very good hobby as well as habit also so you must have it all subjects you have to focus 
if you find that any particular topic or subject or anything which is difficult practice makes a man perfect it may happen that te ten time you not able to do it but last by practice by hard work you will through with the things so this what we say is the self discipline now you all are mature enough now your age is more than 13 14 so now and then you don't require any guidance from your parents or from your teacher okay so be in discipline self discipline is the basic requirement of success and if you have a good self discipline 100% you will succeed in your life so with that positive thought and words let's talk on chapter number 9 that is our economic system if you are having your material right now or your textbook you can see the picture the journey of rupee now think out and this also we have discussed once in the class now who produce the money say for if i am having a note of 100 rupee okay i got it this 100 rupee from somewhere else okay as i am not producing it and as i required number of things so i will pass this 100 rupees to someone else so it is generating it will like you know okay it's generating from journey of a rupee so how it is produced who produce and see here if you can see the picture one rupee coin is drawn it is uh, like you know the picture of one rupee coin is in between then 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 numbers are given so it's a seven picture actually it is given pay your attention in your material or in your book so one is says that it's a bank you got the money from bank second picture is of about the farm it's a farming land what you can say so it's related to the agriculture then the crops is delivered by tractor then this crops is available in the marketing yard then you will get it this from the shop or the mall and again you will uh depositing this money to the bank so actually observe if you observe this thing so in it is said at like you know what is the actually the scenario is that one farmer one farmer is taking a loan or taking a money from bank now with that money he purchases seeds fertilizer pesticide he used this fertilizers pesticides for his farming purpose and he must get an a good yield and with that he is gaining a profit and that money that profit again he is submitting to the bank this is the story actually observation as uh, my observation says this okay so two question is given three actually three question is given over here money issued from bank written to the bank so as you can see number 1 picture number 1 and 7 both are of the bank both picture is of the bank so money issued from bank written to the bank it is issued first you collect the money from the bank and now you are depositing this amount to the bank back so write down this entire process in the lines given below so with this is your first task actually what you have to do so right now i am giving 2 minute you can do it take your pencil fast and write the process right now i told you what is the process actually 
Once first you are collecting the money, you are getting money from the bank, you are using this money in the different way and in return you are getting money back and you are depositing back to the bank. So write down this. Journey of rupee. You have to do it right now. This is a journey of rupee. Do it. What is your observation skill? Says journey of a rupee. Second, write about the economic activity your mother or father are involved in. So, if your mama or papa is engaged with any activity. Economy activity means you know, students, you know. It means when you are getting any monetary benefit, see whatever activities we are performing, most of the activities are economic activity. Say for someone's father is doctor, engineer, banker, mama is teacher or the homemaker, or whatever the economic activities your parents are doing, you have to mention it. Say for if someone's father is having the business, so you have to write businessman. If your mama is a teacher and father is an engineer, so father, engineer, mama, teacher. So write down likewise. Do it right now, huh? We are doing you have to do it right now. Then you have to send this picture to your associate teacher. So do it. First of all, money issued from bank, written to the bank. Write down this entire process in the lines given below. Second, what you have to mention right now is write about the activity your mother and father are involved in. Third, write about the different way in which the income of your family is issued. Listen the question again. Write about the different way in which the income of your family is issued. Say for, as your father is engineer and he is getting a salary. So that is the one way. Your mother is a teacher. She is also getting a salary. That is a one way of generating the income. But your grandpa is a retired person or your grandpa is having a business, a good business. So he is earning a profit. So that is a profit or the pension. It another way of generating the income. So now you have to think about the family members, your family members who are the earning person, who are generating the income. And right now you have to write about them. So if in your family three members are having a good, uh, they are generating the income, that you have to write. So write about the different way in which the income of your family is issued. So I am giving one or two minutes for the same. Within the two minutes you have to do it. Do it fast but it must be in a good proper manner. It must be fast, you must be fast but in a proper manner. This is the journey of rupee. This is called the journey of rupees. Do it first, then we have to talk about the economic activities. Then we have to talk about the economic activities. Chalo, done. Last half minute, you are having, do it fast. Do you work in a fast manner? So 
clock is ticking. Okay, time is up. You have to send it to your associate. Now we will going to talk about the economic activities. First here you have to understand the word economic activities. Economic activities. Now see this term economic. Economic means what? See in our lifespan birth to death. We perform number of activities. We have to and we perform number of activities. Few activities we perform as for our love, compassion, feelings. Right now after 12 you will have a wonderful lunch. So your mama is preparing your lunch. Why she is preparing lunch for you? As she loves you. She is a nurturer of the family. She is the homemaker of the family. So whatever work she is doing from morning to night, she is not charging anything to you. You are not paying any single money to your mama. Isn't it? She perform all type of work for you, for your family, for your family members. But she never charge anything. So this type of work, the work which is done because of feeling, love, compassion, this is called the non-economic activity. Aisa kaam jiske badle mein aapka koi paisa aapko nahi milta. That is called the non-economic activity. Now opposite to the non-economic uh, non -economic activity, so the term what we are using, economic activities. Economic means what? The work, whatever it is, it can be the work, it can be the service, anything we are doing and in that we are getting some reward, monetary reward. Whatever work we are performing, all the services we are performing and in return when we get any monetary reward or the refund, it is called the economic activity. A good example if I give you, as now I am teaching you, right now I am teaching you, teaching is a profession, it is I include myself, I must include myself in the service sector. But as I am working in this esteemed prestigious school, I am getting salary. So when I am performing my work, I am getting money. So this is called the economic activities. Your father is a businessman. So he have to work for his business. Might be he have to go to the shop or the office and for the particular working hours he have to work. And for that work he is getting a profit. So again this is called the economic activity. A vegetable vendor or if you go to the vegetable market, the vendor is sitting or he is uh, pulling the rickshaw or that. So he is uh, selling uh, vegetables, door to door might be. It is called the economic activity as he is not doing for service purpose. He is getting the monetary reward. So again this is called the economic activities. So most of the activities what we perform are economic activities. Okay? So here it is not given but as you are unique students so you must keep in mind economic activity about and the non-economic activity. So now let's talk on this activities. 
So it can be said that the people are associated with the various economic activity. Okay. So the economic activities are mainly divided into three sectors. Now see student, this point you have to keep in mind for 8th, 9th and 10th. And if you want to pursue your commerce or arts, definitely for your graduation, post-graduation. So think out how important it is. So economic activities are further divided into three parts. Primary sector, it is called the primary sector. Then comes secondary sector. Then comes the secondary sector. And third is service sector. See, economic activities further divided into three parts. One is primary sector. What it says? Primary. Seems like you know that what we have studying like first you were in the pre-primary, then you entered to primary, now still you are in eight. So we have to include in the primary only. When you will come in the ninth, it is a secondary school. So then comes the secondary sector and last one says about the service sector. So what point you have to keep in mind for your further school or schooling and the further education also? Economic activities are further divided into three parts. Further divided into three parts. First calls the primary sector, second called the secondary sector and third is called the service sector. Now here one by one we have to understand what's included in the primary sector. Whether my work is about the primary sector, is I am associated with the primary sector or I am associated with the secondary sector. Few minutes back I said that I am a teacher, right now I am teaching you and in reward I am getting the salary. So I said I am, in the, I am doing the economic activity but at that time I said that I am in the service sector. So what things we will include in the service sector? So we have to understand about the primary sector, secondary sector and the service sector. So primary sector, all the three. Is if entire question is asked to you know, to describe the economic activity, then it can be a four mark question. But if I ask you, individual that it will be of two marks secondary section can be of two mark or service sector if alone if i ask then it can be of a two mark okay so let's talk on this so if you want to mention in your book or material you just mention it so what is the primary sector first of all your concept must be clear about the primary sector so, certain resources are obtained directly from the nature and are used by us. That is the food, grain, fruits, vegetable. Even we obtain a wood, medicinal plants, gums from forest, milk, meat, bones, leather from animals. We get a fish from water and minerals from the beneath the earth's surface. In short, forest, agriculture, mining, animal husbandry, fisheries are provided raw material. Raw material means what you know, students? It's a kacha mal. See, we all like pizza. Okay, even I like pizza. So, I know you all like a pizza. So, to prepare a pizza, what we require, tell me. We require dough, we require cheese, we will prepare margarita, huh? not more. So, to prepare a margarita pizza, 
we required dough which is made up of uh, wheat flour okay then obviously we required a cheese mozzarella cheese uh tomato ketchup okay so say for a wheat okay to prepare a pizza what is the raw material is required so we required a uh, wheat flour we required cheese we required tomato sauce so this is the raw material basic requirement okay so what things we have to include in the primary sector the things which provide the raw material the things which provide a raw material that we have to include say for we required cheese cheese is made up from the milk it's a milk and milk product so this is the basically animal husbandry so animal husbandry is a primary sector we required to prepare a pizza we required a wheat flour wheat is a agricultural product so agriculture is in a primary sector so you have to uh, clear your concept right now that the things forest agricultural mining animal husbandry fishery provides the raw material the sector or the industries which provide a raw materials to us for the food and industrial manufactures products or the goods so thus this activity are categorized as the primary sector so which product we have to uh, include in the primary primary sector so number 1 is a forest forest agriculture mining animal husbandry fishery remember and repeat it all of you we required which industry we have to include in the primary sector first is a forest agriculture mining animal husbandry and the fisheries five sector we are including right now there are others also but right now we uh, we have to include this five that is forest agriculture mining animal husbandry and fisheries as they provide a raw material what they provide us they provide us the raw material so and which raw material they uh, provide us for the food and the industrial manufacture to produce a goods or, or the product so thus this activities are categorized as the primary sector so what point you have to keep in mind that the uh, wood medicinal plants gum that we get from the forest milk meat bones and leather from the animal we get a fish from the water and minerals from the beneath of the surface of the earth okay and with this products we do number of activities so this industries we consider in the primary sector so in primary sector from where we get a raw materials this industries we consider as in the primary sector so first requirement is a primary sectors now comes the secondary so secondary is depend on a primary sector now let's talk on that it is also known as manufacturing sector so what is the other name of this secondary sector manufacturing what it says manufacturing sector what is the other name of this manufacturing sector secondary sector is also known as manufacturing sector underline na so secondary sector is also known as the manufacturing sector certain primary products are such that it has to be processed into the finished products to be of any use to such a economic activity is called the activity of secondary sector say for to prepare a cheese we required a milk okay 
so manufacturing cotton textile from cotton if we want to prepare a cotton if we are engaged in the cotton textile industries kapde banane ki at that time what is the raw materials required cotton okay likewise so manufacturing cotton textile from the cotton extracting oil from the cotton seeds making jaggery and sugar from the sugar cane jaggery means good and sugar cane and sugar okay so it's prepared from the sugar cane jaggery and sugar so sugar is a, a sugar cane is a raw material what is required to make the jaggery and sugar okay so we can say making the jaggery and sugar from the sugar cane making the bricks from the soil small and large scale industries manufacturing machineries means of transport means of communication electric equipment consumer goods chemicals and dyes even the clothes defense equipment are the part of the secondary sector that's why it is known as the industrial sector this is the third name what it is given first name it was given that the secondary sector then it is said the manufacturing sector and now the third word it is given about the industrial industrial sector sorry it is called the industrial structure uh, sector so three name you have to keep in mind either it is given industrial sector or it is a secondary sector or manufacturing sector we are talking about the same okay so what point you have to keep in mind you have underlined now all of you see secondary sector is also known as the manufacturing sector it is also named as the industrial sector all types of industries we have we can include in the secondary sector so it is also known as the manufacturing sector as a certain primary products are such that it has to be processed into a finished products to be of any use to us so all economic activities is called the activity of secondary sector examples are given that the manufacturing cotton textile from the cotton extracting oil from the cotton seeds making jaggery and the sugar from the sugar cane making bricks from the soil and small and the large scale industries manufacturing machineries so goods chemicals and dyes so what you have to include all related to this huh? you have to keep in the secondary section only even in that way you can uh, remember that those who are not in this uh, primary or the service sector that you have to include in the uh, secondary sector so uh small and large scale industries manufacturing machineries means of transport means of communication electric equipment consumer goods chemicals and dyes clothes defense equipment are the part of the secondary sector so that is why it is also known as the industrial sector okay so you must and i now i am sure now you remember about the primary sector must understand about the primary sector and about the industrial sector it can be asked like you know testing uh, give the differentiate write a differentiate between the industrial sector or between the primary sector or vice versa now let's talk about the service sector see it is also known as the territory sector must underline
the primary and the secondary sector cannot function without this sector now see how it is important that we talk about already the primary sector industrial sector but this both the sectors are depend on the service sector they can't work primary sector and secondary sector both are depend on the service sector so the primary and the secondary sector cannot be function without this sector without this matlab service sector the raw material or the finished product how to be transported to the various manufacturing unit of traders or which various means of transportation and infrastructure that is airways waterways roadways electricity and other fuel facilities become essential to maintain the communication between the manufacturing and the trading unit telecommunication letters internet are essential so to sustain the entire network of production and distribution education health banking insurance facility are required so in the modern time atm call center software design have become very important services now this all see again i am repeating whether it is a hospital management as it is a teaching as it is education defense this all are we have to include in the service sector as primary sector and the industrial sector both are dependent on the service sector okay see it is also known as the territory sectors the primary and the secondary services cannot function without the sector the raw material or the finished products have to be transported to the various manufacturing units or the traders for which various means of transportation and infrastructure that is the uh, airways waterways roadways electricity and other fuel facilities become essential obviously these all are the essential services to maintain the communication between the manufacturing and the trading unit telecommunication letter internet are essential to sustain the entire network of production and distribution education health you know we use the term health service bank service education service this all we have to include in the service sector only so uh, to sustain the entire network of production and distribution education health banking insurance facilities are required so in the modern time call center atm software design have become very important services so one table is given let's try and let's work on it okay see example of economic activity it is given example of economic activity it is given and what will the effect or what does it indicate that what it we have to do it see example of economic activities 1 2 3 and 4 activities are given over here four activities are given and we have to mention right now only uh, presently you have all to do what will be the effect and what does it indicate two point we have to simultaneously we have to do it so first is given what if a farmer refuse to sell sugar cane to sugar mill what if a farmer refuse to sell sugar cane to sugar mill if what agar farmer ne sugar cane ko sugar mill ko bechne se mana kiya to what will be the effect as sugar cane is a basic raw material to prepare a jaggery and the sugar it is the basic raw material if farmer refuse to sell sugar cane so to whom it will affect it will affect to industry of the sugar cane and the uh, sorry sugar and the jaggery industry 
what does it indicate it will hindrance or it will effect to the it will effect to the secondary and the primary sector second question situation is given what if what if the textile mill in india decide to import import karna matlab dusre desh se kharidna okay to purchase from other country what if the textile mill in india decide to import cotton from other country rather than the purchasing purchasing it from the indian farmer then what will happen to cotton farming now as farmer is growing cotton but the cotton industries or the industrialist they will not purchase from the farmer rather than they will purchase or means they will import it from the other country so what will be the effect farmer will have to face the loss second our indian rupee as import it's a loss in the foreign exchange so both the economical adverse effect we have to face and what does it indicate loss of the profit loss of the farmer then comes a farmer by tractor pump set electricity chemical fertilizer pesticide what if the price of pump set and chemical fertilizer increase think out if there is a increase in the price of fertilizer and the pump set which is used by farmer what will be the effect can anyone tell me what will be the effect yes what is the effect there will be the price rise what you say that is a inflation price rise in the seeds so the raw material is expensive now if the raw material is expensive the ready made or the prepared items are also will be the expensive isn't it then food is required by those working in the secondary that is the industrial or the services sector what if the transporters goes on the strike and refuse to bring vegetable milk from the village think out and tell me the answer food is required by those uh, for the service sector or uh, sorry from the secondary sector or the service sector okay that is a primary thing okay so what if if the transporters goes on the strike and go on the strike and refuse to bring the vegetable from the farm or from the agricultural land what happen so what will be the effect obviously this are the depend on the primary sector if primary sector is not working in the proper manner so this two industrial sector or service sector can't work and vice versa so all these three sectors whether it is a primary whether it is industrial or whether it is a service sector all these three shows the interdependence so this way also you can go and this is also the right one it shows the interdependence what it shows it shows the interdependence so this you have to do huh even you have to send the images now see think the importance of service sector has been increased day by day in india discuss why now this is your homework this is your homework nowadays importance of service sector has increased discuss and give the answer the importance of service sector has been increased day by day in india discuss why now see how do we account the value of goods and services of various sector and also calculate the total production this point is very interesting so what we will going to do you know that in next lecture 
we will do some activity and some other like you know learning part so write down your homework first one i have gave you right now but i will write on your board write a note on so a primary section don't write about your school ah huh? and question number 2 the importance of of service sector you have to write a note even you can include in d okay this will be also fine four short not it is of 3 3 4 line it's enough so primary section secondary section service sector and here here we will write a sector actually we will not write the section but we should mention as it a sector okay so you have to write about the primary sector secondary sector and service sector and the importance of service sector okay so this is your homework as i said in the next lec uh, lecture we will going to talk about the uh, other important point it is a interesting ha huh? bachcha party so we'll enjoy last but not the least stay home be in the self discipline learn self discipline okay follow proper schedule every day must study for at least 4 to 5 hours read the books take care of yourself and your family member so thank you and jai hind